Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play the Scon Files. So last time we had just started a mission. I don't remember, was it Strange Life Form just or something similar? I guess so, judging by the equipment that I'm having. It's strange though, we don't see anyone in this snowy environment. Oh well. Oh, there you go. What are we dealing with here? Oh, werewolves again? Okay. Forgot already whether we were right. Whether we were using the the stun buttons or but ooh, a lot of those guys were rookies, I think. So nobody here. Okay. I'm guessing we can just all go together in the same direction and right. So those two are the support guys. I guess they can also try to shoot from distance. Fourteen, huh? Okay, not good enough. And finally, Sniper. Can we actually see him from here? We can, but... It's really... Okay, let's try to get them closer. So we have two werewolves, at least. There we go. Let's see, can we... Can we shoot them with the sniper? 100 and... Okay. What the hell? 103%. What the hell is it? 51? 51 is the maximum. Is it because we are dealing with... Oh, right. So now we see both of them. There you go. 103%. Okay. No, no. So we hit him, but... Oh. Why are we so slow actually? I think if you like fire movement speed, fire speed. Let's up the speed a little bit. I don't know where I I only feel this way. So, the snipers already took their shots, those two guys could possibly... Okay, 51. Nice. Nice reaction, no, not reaction shot.
Yeah, they're going a bit faster. Oh, please, don't run away. Come on. Can we see the other guy now? I wonder why not. Eh, uh, shoot. Nice, okay. Really? Okay. Too far away. Nice shot. How about you? Okay. Only problem is the damage is not very high. So I think we're only dealing with two werewolves for this particular mission. And this one now is just running away. Okay. Nice. Ooh, didn't we capture him alive? Apparently not. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay, let's check. We have research. Manufacturer still doing the healing gel and the bioexo suit here. Okay. Healing gel is complete. Nice. Okay. So what else can we build? Alright, more bioexo suits. I'm not sure whether they will be useful or not. How many of those dog dura threat vests do we have? Um your thread vest, your thread vest. Alright, we have only two. How about these dogs? Unarmored. Oh, we don't even have those. Okay, let's let's build some your thread vests. Because yeah, let's let's build four. Just to have some for our dogs. Let's see, okay, it's going to be relatively quick, so and okay, this healing gel. Um not really sure how many uses they have. And Healing gel, there you go. Wait, only four, so we have five of those. Shouldn't we make more of them? I don't know. I don't really know how to use them yet. So, Black Ops Premium, nice. All right. As our influence grows, Black Ops offer to put put us on their premium customer list. It will give us access to a wide range of their cutting-edge experimental equipment. As long as we approach them with specific requests. Cool, so now we have Black Ops Minigun Acquisition, Black Ops Light Minigun, Black Ops Assault Rifle, Black Ops Spike Pistol, Coast Acquisition, I think this was some sort of shotgun, or Sniper Rifle Acquisition, wow! What the hell is all of this? <laughs> Oh, this will be interesting. Alright. Let's just check them one by one. No, no, no need for those. Any other black cops? Alright. Let's just allocate them a little bit better. I don't know how long this is going to take. Cyberop Technomat, nice. Finally interrogate him. Technomats form the core of Cyberweb. They are cyborg scientists and engineers pursuing unearthly knowledge. Cyborg? 
they are cyborgs themselves or they, they are scientists that study cyborgs. Hmm. They are also completely amoral and a little crazy. Our agents should approach them with utmost care since they are much tougher than they look and they use exotic high power weapons that they build for themselves. Yeah, I could already tell that. Ooh, check it out, Space Technomat. So yeah, he has some pretty powerful armor. Kinetic laser beam, choke. Plasma beam, oh, okay, so that's why. Stun, I think it's what, only 70%? Dossier, Owen Hofer, Raw Scientists, Affiliation, Magma Corp. Dr. Hofer has been working with military engineers in developing thermal weapons based on CO2 laser technology. Successful tests destroying explosives and landmines show promise that these technologies may be used in other capacities. Dr. Hofer has not been seen since trip to Berlin in the spring of this year. Star is missing. Isn't that the guy who just... We just arrested though? Cyber... Cyber web? Battery cyber web brain plant. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, so we already discovered all the... All the Black Ops stuff, I guess? I don't know. So I just put everything in the sick bay. Just to... Yeah, just to prioritize this as fast as possible. Cyberop Space Technomat Processing. What the hell is this then? World of Cash for Cyberweb Technomat 1. Oh, Spider-Man. Cyberweb Space Technomat. We don't have any of those though. Alright. And there we go. Black Ops Spy Pistol Acquisition. So, if this is the pistol. So, Spy Pistol. Really, what's the difference? It's lighter. You can do more snapshots. But the accuracy is so much lower. This small but relatively accurate farmer is primarily meant for undercover operations. So does this mean that we can take it on undercover operations? Like when we only... Like when we can only carry like those melee weapons and the stapler, if you remember those. It's concealable, but so is this one. Hmm, okay, maybe we should take some of those just in case. Alright. That's, I guess, the only reason why I would take it. Black Ops Spy Pistol Spy Pistol Clip. Right, let's... Yeah, let's get some of those. I mean, maybe we can use them. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Maybe we can use them for... Some covert operations. Black Ops Assault Rifle Acquisition. Okay, let's check it out. Is this going to be any better than the rifle? Ooh, okay, it's a little bit better for short... What? Aimed shot only 45%. Primarily a mid-range weapon, the Black Ops Assault Rifle is versatile and can fulfill most roles on the battlefield. Hmm. The same... It's the auto shot is a little bit more accurate, I would say. Snapshots are uh, pretty much the same, a little bit less accurate. Aim shot much worse. So, I mean, not really convinced. I still think this rifle is better because of the versatility. I almost never used all the shots, really. I mean, 55% that pretty much sucks. And it's like. The range for our shot was what? 14 snipe shot, 18. Okay, I mean, I guess it's not so bad. I mean, isn't it better to use this anyway? I guess. Except for the power, but. I still think the rifle is better. Okay, so disappointing. Black Ops all sniper rifle. So is this better than the other sniper rifle? This one can he has an auto mode. 
Mm, so I guess this also can be used short, like if we don't need a pistol. The highly advanced sniper rifle is faster and allows for all the fire, the cost of somewhat lower accuracy. Its electronic targeter helps if you have good reflexes. Ooh, so firing accuracy squared plus reactions. Ooh. So if we have good reactions, we have better accuracy. 0.25 times reactions. Nice, nice, nice. So, so if we have reactions, actually, I guess it's about as powerful as as accurate as the regular as the regular sniper rifle. Damage is a little bit lower though. I guess we can try it in battle. We can order a few of them. Alright. I guess we wouldn't need a... Ooh, it's so expensive though. Check it out. Okay. Black Ops Coast Acquisition. So this is, I guess, similar to the Pine Core Jackhammer and the Shotgun. Oh, kinetic, kinetic. So, accuracy. Ooh, can take two aim shots. Ooh, that's actually pretty useful. So I guess it's a little bit... It's a little bit heavier, unfortunately, but the damage for the... Okay, it doesn't have the stun buttons also. So unless you want to capture an accurate for closed assault weapon system, that futuristic shotgun is faster and more accurate than its traditional design. Hmm, this is interesting, definitely. Snapshot range, 6, aim shot range, 12. How about this? 8, 8, 14, 6, 12. So a, li a little bit, so a little bit closer range, I guess. But we can take two aimed shots. I'm guessing this is good news. How about the ammo? Number of pellets, 5. Clip size, 10. Ooh, okay. Size so 10, yeah. What was this one? Size so 10. Alright, so this one has auto mount, I remember. So this one was actually maybe for zombies, but even then, zombies are like. For zombies, you just use regular BS. 18 times 7, 18 times 5. So. So that's what, 90? Yeah, 90. And this one is 105. But this one is a bit more accurate. Hmm. Okay, maybe we can try it, I guess. Where is it? Right, okay. It's definitely, yeah, more expensive. And we already have this 30. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Light minigun. You know, we don't really use miniguns so far. It's just regular minigun. Or 15. Accuracy just 12%, really. It deals extra damage to armor. Wow, this one is very heavy. So I guess this one is a little bit better to use. Light minigun, although I'm still not sure. Whether it's worth it. 
12 shots set accuracy 16. I mean, probably it's short distance. Maybe I should just buy all those new weapons and. Ooh, 33,000. 16,000. Okay, this is the light version. Okay, let's let's just buy one of them. And minigun. All right, we just saw this. Man, check it out. 45%, 12% accuracy, 16% accuracy. This heavy support weapon fires deadly hail of bullets, most effective in area clearing and suppressing the enemy. It is also good for stripping away heavy armor with sheer volume of fire. Due to its inherent weight, high strength is acquired to use its full potential. When possible, it should be fired from a kneeling position. Yeah, I mean, I guess. And what is this ammo? Like, how much does it take? I guess you can only carry one of those drums. Who knows? Oh yeah, let's... Eh. Should we just buy one of them as well? Just to test it. Okay. Uh, Chupacapra! Finally. This creature is an extremely fast and dangerous predator. Its intelligence is limited, but it is very well adapted to hunting and hiding on Earth. Its only flaw is that it cannot successfully reproduce, but it may be that there is some sort of queen version of the Chupa Chupacapra species which breeds these hunters. It is recommended to engage these creatures at long range if at all possible. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, he has like such a big range. Hmm. Okay. Research is good for the sick bay finally. Okay, dog deer thread vest. Right, let's produce some more. Some more healing gel, I guess. Okay. Where is it? Dog combat gear. Dog deer thread vest. There you go. And dog combat gear, I think, can be just just purchased regularly, right? Yep. Contact cult arm dealers. Commander, at this point we have infiltrated cultists deep enough to get a little cheeky. Each cult has to be supplied with stuff they can get from a local store. Outside the US, that is. And locating these suppliers shouldn't be too hard, if you know where to look. This can lead us to some interesting stuff that is not on our official list of supplies. We can always search purchase from Red Dawn suppliers. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. Oh, so AK-47. I think we already don't need those. Should we go straight for the general strategy? Oh, man. So many things to research now, kind of tactical neuro implant, okay. Let's see what this is. And we got all of the all of the equipment for the all the new equipment. Okay, let's see. Let's let's order some from this location as well. Uh so what was it? Black Ops Spy Pistol. Alright, no enough storage space here. Okay.
Let's just transfer everything and then we will decide what to sell or not. Ducted Farmer, Exo Goon, Red Dawn Ganger, MIB Agent, oh right. So all those corpses, Dura Threat Cyclone. Small grenade, okay we can keep those, Dynamite Grenade, yeah those we can keep. Flare Gun, I don't think so. Uh, shotgun, UAC Rifle. Alright, oh, actually no, not this one. PSG one, I don't even remember what that was. Black Ops Rifle, we can keep those. Sporting Rifle. Calico. Whatever. I call those. Oh, leather coats, we definitely need those. Armor vest. Okay, we can we can keep the rest. Let's see, but yeah, let's purchase those things that I wanted to. Alright. Black Ops Pipe Pistol. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Black Ops Assault Rifle. Don't remember whether this one was okay. Apparently, it's more expensive than the regular armor rifle, but I still don't know whether it is better to tell you the truth. The old sniper rifle, maybe. Should just get one or so of those. Mm. And yeah. Those things. Yeah, the minigun's probably not necessary at this stage. And light ma machine gun. What? How are those different? Meaning gun or machine gun? Okay, machine gun. Man, those are too complicated even for me. Get some assault rifles just to test them. Hmm. I think here they didn't have any sniper rifles. Okay. Not enough money. Oh, great. Okay, enough. Enough of that then. Dog combo gear, yeah, whatever. Dangerous lunatic. Come better. Oh, there you go. Okay. So that's why we need. Helicopter, right. I think we can probably send even just the guys in the car, but right. Armored vest. Let's see, Black Ops pistol. Black Ops Rifle, Black Ops Sniper Rifle, Black Ops Shotgun. Okay, maybe here is where we need some more powerful stuff. Armor piercing, I guess. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go with that. Helicopter 3. And now we have to wait for daylight to arrive, unfortunately. Or maybe we don't have to wait that long. Okay, we go to base. Let's see, what can we get rid of now? All those, oh, Mauser maybe, maybe useful. Okay. Yeah, I see pistol. Ah, crap. Oh, plasma pistol, nice. Don't even remember the Calico. AKM, no thank you. I mean... Okay, let's sell this for now. I don't know, I cannot decide. This is the problem with this game. Too many weapons, probably most of them are like very situational and like for a very specific agent they're probably the best but I cannot make those decisions there are too many factors I'd rather I'd rather just go with some things that I know okay Okay, actually, yeah. Um, maybe can carry the sniper since he's the most accurate guy. All right. Probably won't need any of those, but anyway. Okay. Rifle. It's not very armor piercing. I probably should just go with AP rounds, you know. There you go, okay. So those guys have pretty low accuracy, so I don't know how good he's going to get, but wow, okay. So he's probably around here in this big building, but really he could be everywhere. Cannot go through here, unfortunately. Okay. Thought this was a door, but right. Okay. And sniper. Hmm, he's very quiet. Usually by now he's already shooting civilians, so this makes me think he's around here where there are no civilians. As I thought initially. You no know, need to Whoa, surrounded by chicks on both sides, huh? Or not exactly. <laughs> Posh female civilian with a gun. Okay. And just regular civilian golfing. So this is not the door, I'm guessing, yeah. I'm guessing here are the doors. Uh, right. Ah, no, no. He's probably not here. 
Oh, a doggy. Hey, doggy, doggy. Okay, can move the sniper as well. Oops. You scared me. So that was not the armed madman. Huh. Where the hell could he be? Not here. There's a small building. Oh, there is another building here. Okay. So. Right. Probably not here, so. Let's go in this direction. And you. Ooh, heard some noise over there. Over on this side. Right, so he's probably here somewhere. Okay, not here. Not on the top floor, maybe. Ooh. Are those guys fighting him? There you go. And he has a shotgun, huh? So, what is it, him? Can we shoot him from here? No, we cannot. No line of fire, okay. Let's just approach him then, I guess. We have everybody in this direction. Okay, maybe we can surround him on the other side. Where's the sniper again? Okay, I guess I already moved him. Oh no. Killed two civilians already? Like, okay, but already the dog and the rest of the guys are... Okay. Can I kill him without hurting the dog? Nice, okay. Managed to kill two civilians, unfortunately, but 